My name is Fred. I am a videographer and have been for a decade now. And let me tell you, I'm not getting younger or stronger for that matter. So when it comes to shooting weddings or events that can have me carrying a gimbal for eight hours, this Thanos SE by Digiphoto has saved my back a few times and will continue to do so. Uh, as you can tell, it takes no weight out of my arms or my shoulders to hold five, six pounds of gimbal and camera. I often also have a monitor attached or even an audio device down here to capture that. So it's done a phenomenal job at relieving my body. I know most reviews talk about Z access where when you're bouncing, it really doesn't show much in the image. And you know what, I'll hit record and kind of give you an idea of what that looks like. Here I am bouncing and I'll put that in to the video as well. Uh, and you'll get an idea of what kind of footage the Z axis uh, is being relieved of. Now, when it comes down to it, I got this unit not so much for the Z axis, you know, relieving of bouncing, but to save my arms. This is a, a unit that I recommend to any videographer who's on their feet for 12 hours and is wrecked for three days after because they've been carrying 10 pounds in front of them all day long. So highly recommend and check out Digiphoto if you wanna get a Thanos SE. There are a couple spring loads here. So they take micro adjustments and those micro adjustments allow it to relieve the tension of the spring load so that it holds more or less weight and you could get very specific and narrow it into exactly the right spot so that your camera just kind of floats there and it takes no effort. What's also great about the new Thanos SE is an extra knob they've installed right here. This knob allows me to do the undersling mode. I release that knob and now I can go down with it and suddenly I can get that low shot, that that walking behind feet shot, really cinematic, still with that nice minimal Z access, and it is compelling. And then, as simple as to flip it right back up and tighten the knob and we're good again. As you could probably tell, it's not the easiest device to monitor. And by that, I mean, it's all the way out here. So if I'm trying to peek at that screen, I'm gonna have a little bit of a hard time. There aren't any attachments on this arm to add a monitor, and I'm not even sure if I'd wanna tether it. So this is kind of specific to my camera, which I have uh, the Sony a7S III and the a7 IV, but I got a phone mount here and I attached that to the vest itself. So you'll see I attached it to the hardware on the back end right here on a cold shoe mount. Slip that in there. So as you can see, I've got this app monitor plus. It's allowing me to see what I'm shooting from a distance and I can drop the phone right in there. And now I can monitor my camera right at my vest. So this has enabled me to still do touch to focus and it allows me full controls. I've got histograms, I've got LUTs, uh, I've got zebras, false color, you name it. And now I can do it all from my phone right at my chest. So as you can tell, it's not obtrusive. There's no cables running the whole length. And now I have the full control of my camera right here. And also, I've got better eyes on it. It's a larger screen than what's on the camera itself. And I have a lot more control. So for those full days, make sure you come with a charged phone if you also shoot with Sony. Uh, thank you again to Digital Photo. The Thanos SC has saved my back a number of times. And yes, it makes the Z-axis look prettier. If that's what you're after, this is a great unit to go for. It's pretty cheap. I think it's around 645 US. And I hope that you can find the same relief I found using this vest. A lot of what I do is shooting in public spaces, making sure people don't feel uncomfortable. So if I could hide it under a coat and still get all that extra support, I think that's pretty sweet. Yeah, it'll look like you're wearing a bulletproof vest, but it's worth it, because sometimes you're potentially shooting where you don't belong. And you know, if you have to carry a camera all day, 
at least this is kind of discreet. So it's just kind of like a, a third arm that's there when you need it. <laughs>